So on Black Friday, I'm going to be sitting in my house in the comfort of my bed and I'm going to be shopping online. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ifya Kimade here. If this is your first time, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you always know every single time I upload a video. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like this and follow me on social media. It should be displayed somewhere on the screen. So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I shop smart and save money on Black Friday because a girl does not have money to just be spending anyhow, you know? You need to be smart when you're shopping on all these online websites. So yeah, if you want to know how I save money and shop smart, just keep watching. So I have found that the most important thing and the only way for you to actually save money on Black Friday is for you to plan. I know that sounds crazy. You have to plan to shop. But yeah, that's the only way I'm, I am able to save money while shopping on Black Friday. So what I like to do to plan is actually I start shopping weeks in advance. So I know exactly how much every single item on the website costs. And that way I know if I'm actually saving money or not. So the first thing I do is actually download apps. After downloading my apps, the next thing I do is make a list. So I create a wish list on all those websites of everything I want to buy. So I'm going to show you guys how I plan and all the apps I use to plan for my Black Friday shopping. As you guys, this is the key. And this is what has helped me save so much money while shopping online. This app is called Shop Tag R. I think that's how it's pronounced, or Shop Tag R something. Shop Tag R, something like that. It's like your online personal shopper. Yes, it tells you when an item you want is on sale. So it supports a lot of stores, meaning it's able to read from a lot of stores. And this Black Friday, I have decided that I'm going to only shop at misguided pretty little thin naked wardrobe missy empire and amazon for like all my tech stuff so it supports amazon canada which is good it also let's check if it supports all the other sites that i want to shop on so misguided let's check misguided wow this list is long guys okay so we're finally in m um, so it supports misguided, misguided, AU, EU, France, international, US, which is good. Um, let's check naked wardrobe. Supports naked wardrobe as well. Oh, Missy Empire. It supports Missy Empire as well. And I'm just going to check Pretty Little Thing, which is the last one. Oh, and it supports Pretty Little Thing as well, which is amazing. That is excellent. All the stores I want to shop at, it supports it. So I'm going to show you guys how this app works so naked wardrobe for example does not have an app so i'm going to show you guys how to use shop tag r on naked wardrobe so I just go to menu women i already know exactly what i want to get from here because like i said i have been shopping weeks in advance so i go to tops this one i want this crop top so i simply click on that and on this button right here down here where you can like share, airdrop, all that jazz. I just scroll all the way to the side, right? And if you click on more, you can see you can turn on all the things you would like to turn on. So usually this is off, so I'm just going to turn it on and click on done and scroll to the side and click on the shop tagger app. And it's saved right and so what this app actually does is every time your item goes on sale so it sends you a notification that the item is on sale which I feel like is pretty amazing this is basically your online personal shopper you guys it tells you when your items are on sale it doesn't get any much better than that the second thing that I do is Ebates. I don't know if you guys have heard about Ebates, but it's basically you get cash back for shopping online. 
online shopping is honestly the best so ebates is a website that gives you cash back for shopping online so right now i'm on the ebates canada website and you can check all the stores that it supports it so i'll just go to m for example for misguided because i know it supports misguided and what you have to do is you click on misguided you see that when you shop on misguided it actually gives you three percent cash back so for you to actually get the cash back you have to shop through the link and what i mean by shopping through the link is on ebay you can see that there is a three percent cash back button so you have to click on shop now and it redirects you to misguided so you actually have to click on the link from the website to get the cash back they send you a check back in the mail which is pretty amazing so yeah you just have to check if it supports the websites that, that you shop on and if, if it does you're just going to click on the link and that way you save money and it can be very overwhelming i feel like because you see so many things thrown at you people are like up to 70 percent off up to 60 percent off all that stuff can be so overwhelming and you end up spending more money than you actually want to so what i do is i create a budget and i'm going to show you guys how i create a budget I go to my notes and I just click on new notes for it. I start from my total. And so what I do is website and after going through everything they have on the website, I'm putting everything in my cart. Now I have an idea of how much everything is going to cost me. So I create a budget on naked wardrobe. For example, I would just be like, okay, I'm just going to spend like 150 bucks. And on Missy Empire, I'm only going to spend 150 bucks. I'm just going to put 200 bucks and that comes up to a thousand five hundred mind you i'm probably not going to spend exact like i'm probably not going to spend a thousand five hundred on black fridays but because i know every single thing i want to buy or i have an idea of every single thing i want to buy now i'm not going to go over my budget the thing i do is i write down the items i absolutely should not get okay now another thing i have realized with all these websites is that they have like different websites for different countries. One thing I have actually realized is that these websites, you guys, these websites, they think they're so smart. They have different deals on the different websites. Case in point, pretty little thing. Shop on the US websites most of the times because I realized that they have better deals. So the only thing I end up doing is paying like 15 bucks for shipping, which I'm fine with if I get a better deal on the US website. My last thing i do to shop smartly on black friday is that i avoid the malls i know it's like a black friday tradition for everyone to go to the mall but i have realized that every time i go to the mall i end up going over my budget i end up spending more than i want to and i end up buying things that i do not need so i'm just going to go over everything again so we're on the same page the first thing you want to do is plan 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 you guys plan to save so on black friday i'm going to be sitting in my house in the comfort of my bed and i'm going to be shopping online what's that saying if you fail to plan you plan to fail something like that so yes you have to plan to save secondly you want to download apps download the apps that would help you download smart apps like shop Tagger and ebates that will help you save money number three choose the websites you're going to shop on weeks in advance start shopping weeks in advance and choose exactly what you're going to buy so you do not go haywire for you guys so important so important create a budget if i don't create a budget i am not buying anything like if i don't say this is exactly how much i'm spending on each website i'm not buying anything because i know myself I'm just... six you guys the next thing is compare websites compare between Canada, US websites, you might find a better deal on the US website most of the time because at the end of the day, Black Friday is a US thing. It's not really big in Canada. And last but not the least, you guys, if you can avoid the malls, to the mall on Black Friday is a scam. They just, it's, they, they're just there to scam your money and take your money away and it's a scam, it's a trap. They just want you to spend too much money. Do not go to the mall on Black Friday. I have told you now shop online use coupon codes do your research that is the way you can shop smart and save on black friday yes guys that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and 
leave a comment down below telling me where you guys are going to be shopping for black friday and the tips and tricks you have to save money on black friday see you guys in my next video bye that's how she calling my name she says it when she in love she says it when she in pain ojo 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 why would we do this again i'm feeling like it's a drug boy i wish i never came but you know how we do every time you come through with a fork